What is Cafe Mocha? Experts, celebrities. Hey, this is John Legend. Yo, it's Trudy Idris Elba. This is Fantasia. I am Ian LeVance. Hey, everybody, it's your girl Tamar Braxton. Music and features from a woman's perspective. Intriguing conversation. The Swag Award. Espresso. The MC Light Mix. Radio from a woman's perspective. What flavor are you, baby? This is Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. I'm Angelique. And I'm MC Light. I'm Lonnie Love. So many women out there looking for a baller. Mm. You know, back in the day, women were happy if he had a good job at the post office. Mm -hmm. But these days... On the way, (laughs) we're talking about dating ballers and how it's not all it seems right here on Cafe Mocha. This is Cafe Mocha. I'm MC Light along with Lonnie Love and (laughs) Angelique. You know, so many men and women, too, especially women, are looking for that baller. Somebody that's got the money, the power, celebrity status, but it's not always what we think it is. On the line, she was expecting a fairy tale life when she married Chicago Bulls point guard Craig Hodges, but instead, it kind of became a nightmare. Carlita Hodges, when did the fairy tale start to go wrong, girl? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like immediately. That sounds like a seesaw for real. No, the, the, the fairy tale started to go wrong when I had my first child. Mm. And how long were you together In before that, that yeah. happened? We were quick. We we met, we married, and we had babies. Okay. okay. Yeah, real quick. But uh, yeah, it went it went bad really quick. Mm-hmm. What are the biggest misconceptions about dating a baller? I mean, you know, because you know they make it seem like you know you're gonna have all this money, right? And, and attention, and you get to go to the games. That's what I like to do if I date a baller, go to the <laughs> games. But what are some of the misconceptions? What were you expecting in your relationship, sweetie? Well, first of all, I was expecting my husband to love me, period. Two, we did get to go to the games. And when I say we, I say me, you, her, them. Ooh, all of y'all were in there. We had the entourage. Yeah, they were sitting on different sides of the arena. Absolutely. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Girl, did you confront any of them? Nope. Never said nothing to them? No, I confronted him. That's right. That's right. And what did he say? I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, that's what he did. And this was before boss up, so you didn't have the pictures to go. I was like, look, there she is right there giving you but the really, eye. But really, though, I wonder, do they really think they're going to be monogamous when they walk down that aisle, or are they just taking the steps that says, I should do this because this is what's deemed right in the United States of America, that a man should have a wife when he has kids, he has a home, and he builds up that facade of a perfect American life, but in actuality, I don't know that it's in some of them to be monogamous. It's possible. All of that, I feel like, are are excuses. They want to have their cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. And that's my opinion. Some people like cake. Well, let me say this. When you marry Carlita, you better (laughs) figure it out. Thank you. You get that altar. One. Two. Stop getting married. Right. Okay. I hear that. You ain't got to do that. Plenty of girls will have you and not marry you. So we are talking to model and ex-wife of Chicago Bulls, Craig Hodges. Her name is Carlita Hodges. Mm -hmm. Carlita's Way is the name of the book on the way. More misconceptions about dating a baller. Anything Cafe Mocha, we're on the line with uh, model and ex-wife of Chicago Bulls, Craig Hodges, Carlita Hodges. Her book is called Carlita's Way, Out of the Dark, Into the Light. Tell us about the book, Carlita. The book, it's, it's you just said the name, but um, I started writing this book about 20 years ago. Craig and I had a horrible divorce, horrible. Uh, we went through some stuff. He took my children from me. Mm. So, yeah, but I got them back. And so the book details your life going yes, through all this. It does. Uh, from my marriage all the way th- through today. Yes, it does. And it's, it's also helping women that get into these relationship with these ballers. What I think women should start doing when these when they're, they're the toy for the men. Mm-hmm. I think that they should start branding themselves. Mm-hmm. Right away, while you're that fluffy little cute thing to them, I think that you, they should take advantage of these situations that they're in with these men because you're going to be tossed to the sidewalk if you don't. Uh, they need to start following people like Kamora Lee, Amber Rose. 
brand yourself. Make it happen so that you're not caught up in their situations forever and you're not their shadow. Right. You stand in your own. Absolutely. Now, um, Carlita, before I I agreed to do the interview, I, I just looked at the information. I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. But I, I Googled you Ooh. and the stuff that came up about lighter Girl. fluid and matches and all this. Did Craig drive you crazy? Yes. Or are they just lies? They're just internet what lies. What happened, Carlita? Come on, just give your side of the story. Okay, first of all, I'm going to give a little bit because I got to buy the book. But yes, I okay. did the gasoline. I did the matches. I did that. Mm. On him, not in the car, Angela Bassett style. You put it on him. No, I, it was a bottle. That's okay. why you got to read the oh, book. Okay. I put a bottle at him, and I tried to bust his head. Ah, mm. you, ooh, yeah, we got to read the book. Okay, the book <laughs> is yeah, called... Yeah, we're, we're really insane. They want you to think we crazy, but they push and push and push. Yeah. And when you push back... That's what I got. Yeah. Well, that's what he got. Well, that's what he got. Okay, so wait a second. Where can we find this book? You can find it on my website, and that's www.carlita-hodges.com. And it's also on Amazon. Okay. All right. The book, again, is called Carlita's Way Out of the Dark into the Light. And how do people reach you? Twitter, Carlita Hodges. Facebook, Carlita Hodges. Um... What else do I have? Instagram, Carlita Hodges. <laughs> Carlita's way out of the dark into the light. Pick it up. Thank you for calling, Carlita. Thank you for having me. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. It's Cafe Mocha. Here we go. It's Cafe Mocha. We're talking about dating ballers. And I want to propose this because all these folks in this room mm-hmm. work for a living. Mm-hmm. Some of us are famous. Mm-hmm. Some of us curious, have you had a situation where, you know, a guy is just showing up because, you know, you got a big house and he wants to sleep on your couch? Well, I think, you know, on Facebook, you know, now that you know, my uh, promos are running for the real, uh-huh. it's like I'm getting all kind of people. And I'm oh, just yeah. like, you know, no. Nah. Relax. Yeah, just mm. calm down. You know, they sending pictures. Uh, they want to take to take me to dinner. Mm. And, and what's, no. What, what's wrong with dinner? Because I don't know them. And all of them look short. The <laughs> pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, how tall do they need to be? They need to at least be six feet. They I, they have to be taller than me. I can't, you know, and most men on, I don't know why, but a lot of men online are short. <laughs> they hide, <laughs> like, they they hide like five, behind. Five. Yeah. <laughs> now, like, you've been famous a for, long time. Forever. You know, right. Relic. Forever. There you go. In your in your dating situations, do you feel like it's better to date someone? Uh-huh. <laughs> right. It, your experience. Mm-hmm. You think it's better to date someone who's famous as well or someone who just has a regular life? Well, I, most times it's someone who isn't right. uh, in the limelight. But I do find um, a certain amount of um, electricity with someone who just knows who they are. Hmm. And because um, I I need somebody with a lot of confidence. And usually that winds up being someone who is successful at something. Mm -hmm. You know, um, not necessarily on TV or in music or whatever. But it's a a certain electricity that kind of vibes me. But... um, I like an understated type of guy, someone that doesn't really say all that they're thinking the moment you meet them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, kind of right, like right. want to develop into leave a little bit of mystery to it. So, would you date an athlete? Um, probably retired with the initials D. <laughs> 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 anyway, on the way, we're going to talk about the new fall TV season and a really special show coming up September 15th called The Real. Uh-oh, look <laughs> out, black people. <laughs> coming up next on Cafe Mocha, we're going to talk about the black people coming on the fall. It's specifically your show, right? The Real? <laughs> well, some other shows, too. We're going we gonna to be, we're going to spread the love. It's All Cafe right. Mocha. Chaka, 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 gone. It's Cafe Mocha. I'm Angelique. I'm MC Light. I'm Lonnie Love. And you know what, y'all? It's a lot of fall shows Mm -hmm. coming up, and I'm so excited. Wait, have you been this summer watching Halle Berry's Extent? No, No, I haven't. I love it. I just want to say support our shows. I just haven't had time, you know, but I do DVR it. Watch it live. I mean, I love the DVR, but... but No, if you DVR, 
You watch it three three, three days, days. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it'll get the ratings. You so, get caught up too. Yeah, you get caught up too. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm very excited because there are a lot of, of fall shows. First of all, shout out to Shonda Rhimes. She's got all Thursday nights. Mm. Thursday night is her. Three it's her. shows all written by her. What so are you they? have Grey's Anatomy, mm-hmm. you have Scandal that's mm-hmm. coming back, and the new show How to Get Away with Murder that stars Viola Davis. <gasps> that should be good. Oh yes. my goodness. So I'm very excited. This is a historic. Wait, to have a black truth. female to Lead. have a Thursday night. Not only that, but a, the creator, which is you know Absolutely. even more important because she's the person that gives the jobs to everybody. She's totally. like Aaron Spelling now. Or does Viola yeah, Davis like play a detective? Or yes, something? Um, she's like a teacher. She's like a professor, and she's very good. Mm. Um, looks very exciting. You also have a Blackish, which is uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Anthony Anderson. It's a sitcom. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross is in it. And it's, you know, a li- very progressive sitcom that mm-hmm. ABC is also Black-ish. doing. Black-ish. Yeah. See, I already am at issue with, with <laughs> that title. title. With the title. Because Black-ish suggests that because we in the suburbs <laughs> and we living like the Cosbys that we ain't really black. Well, we just Black-ish. You have to watch the show All to right. see why they call it that. Maybe, right. maybe they mean black Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, could be, that could mean that too, which I would still be offended by. I'm just, I just want to be offended today. Also, Oscar winner Viola, um, and I'm sorry, Octavia. Also, Octavia Spencer is in uh, the Steven Spielberg produced mm. Red Band Society. It's about a group of kids and um, some hospitals and it stuff like that. It looks sad. Okay. I've seen the all summer. I've seen the. But I think but it, it looks it's, sad. It looks me. sad, but it looks like it, it, it'll be a pretty good drama. And it's on CBS, so mm-hmm. it's pretty good. Is it so. like MASH? Yeah. You know, no, it's like it's with children, so okay. it's something different. But mm. you know, the the good thing is is that there are a lot of um, fall shows, mm-hmm. but there are also a lot of fall uh, daytime talk shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the way, <laughs> we gonna talk about daytime. Okay. We talking, right, about, we're gonna daytime. talking about daytime. I can't wait to. Till- It's Cafe Mocha. We're in the middle of talking about the new fall season and everything there is to bring and the real. Yes, we talked about the prime time, but Mm -hmm. now we got the daytime because daytime is just as important Mm -hmm. as uh, the prime time. And of course, we have Steve Harvey coming back. We have Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie. Can we just give a shout out to save herself for last? Why? (laughs) My new show, The Real, with myself, Tamar Braxton, Tamara Maury, Adrian Ballone, and Jeannie Mai. We are very excited. And thank you, Cafe Mocha. I have to say this to Sheila and to Light and to Lynn and to uh, Angelique Hello. for supporting. A- am, am I not sitting here? Well, I'm yeah. invisible. She yeah. naming people that ain't even in the room. <laughs> no, you got it, though. You but it's, it? you guys have been so supportive. We are so happy and stoked. And also, not only this is the first daytime talk show that will be premiering in the day, but also at BET mm. in the prime time. Mm. Oh, cool. So, Centric. Yeah. That's it, right. Now, yeah. The station made for women. Go. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to yes. interview you now about okay. the deal. How much are they paying you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tacky. It's, 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 it's enough for me to stay off the road. It's All not right. not a millionaire. Mm-hmm. Not even close. Mm-hmm. So don't be, y'all stop asking me because you know it how. It does every, feel good to sit still, though, don't yeah, it? Yeah, and mm-hmm. that's what I need. You know how they say, you know, you, you ask the Lord because people got to realize I've been paying my dues. I've been doing the road for eight mm-hmm. years. It's been very hard. Every that's why you weekend, see a lot of women. Thursday mm-hmm. through Sunday, yes. Lonnie mm-hmm. is somewhere. Mm-hmm. Let yes. me ask you though, on mm-hmm. on that note, Tamar mm-hmm. Braxton, now that she's doing this, yes. is she gonna come off the road a little bit with She'll she'll have to adjust her schedule mm-hmm. a little bit. But you know, the thing I like about Tamar Braxton is that she is such a hard worker. And mm-hmm. you know, she you know, she this this chick had a baby. Mm-hmm. She has two more reality shows. She's on a tour. So she's just bearing the fruits. I mean, when you when you get when, when you hit it, yeah. you, you can't stop. No. You just gotta, you know, deal with it and and, and put it all in perspective mm-hmm. and, you know, just hope that it turns out good. Mm-hmm. So that's It's going to turn will. out good. It okay, will. so when's The Real hitting? The Real premieres September 15th on Fox and various local stations. It's syndicated 98% of the country and BET Woo! in the prime time. All right, so set your DVR now yes. and watch the show. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Mm. Uh. It's the Cafe Mocha Espresso. I'm Angelique. No Good Deed opens this weekend, but there's lots of good films to look out for this fall, like Denzel in The Equalizer. He meets a innocent young girl who he finds out is being abused, and he decides to do something about it. 
And remember the sexy Zayn series? Well, the writer has a movie headed to theaters where Sharon Leal's character is cheating on her husband, played by Boris Kojo. It's called Addicted. I have the perfect life. Best family anyone could hope for. My husband is every woman's dream. I love you. Our love is forever. Always has been. Always will be. I took the step down a terrible path. I do want to get better. You will. I didn't expect to fall in love with you, and I did. Where are you going at night? Bit of advice. Be careful. And for the indie film lovers, look out for this Sundance winner called Dear White People. Dear White People. The minimum requirement of black friends needed to not seem racist has just been raised to two. Sorry, but your weed man, Tyrone, does not count. That's The Espresso. I'm Angelique. This is Cafe Mocha. That was the NC Light Light Mix, girl! was a good one. Well, thank you. Thank okay. you very much. I'm getting my party on in September. Uh-oh. Hey. hey. Speaking of September, September 15th, <laughs> check out real. The Real. <laughs> check your local listings. That's Cafe Mocha. You can find us everywhere at Cafe Mocha Radio. Cafe Mocha is a production of Miles Ahead Broadcasting in partnership with Westwood One. Executive producer, Sheila Eldridge. Writer and producer, Angelique Perrin. For comments, booking, and more information, visit CafeMochaRadio.com. 